so my name is Dan Bowes. I am a Henry Dale Research Fellow at uh, the University of Sheffield and I'm part of the Sheffield Institute for Nucleic Acids and the Department for Molecular Biology and Biotechnology. Uh, we're a really multidisciplinary department. We have groups working on everything from antimicrobial resistance to structural biology and again there's a lot of biochemistry goes on in the department. So the equipment is going to be uh, available for people across the department to use and to develop their own assays in their own research areas. There are, there are different plate reader capabilities within the department but these get used a lot longer term kinetic assays so finding time to access them, especially as these assays become more and more commonplace, is, is harder and it becomes more important for me to have an instrument in the department. Another important thing for our work is the, the scintillation counting capability and um, so we do a lot of assays that this is essential for and um, this facility wasn't available in the department. We had a really old uh, scintillation counter with a, a dot matrix printer on it and although I enjoy the retro aspects of it, it's nice to update that. I, I guess uh, three things stood out. Firstly, the, the software was really intuitive and, and again, I have less and less time in lab myself, but I have students coming through and I want people to be able to pick it up and not feel intimidated about using the software. Secondly, the, the range of capabilities that it has to be able to incorporate fluorescence reading abilities with scintillation counting and, and, and being able to check cell-based assays as well within this uh, was really important for my research. And thirdly, just the, the footprint it takes up in lab as well. I think to be able to incorporate all of those capabilities into such a tiny footprint was, was really impressive. My, my group's fairly newly established, we've been going a couple of years. Um, so in particular I'm excited about starting to use the threat based assays to, to start to probe different aspects of RNA structure and, and how our, our complexes are forming. We also have um, collaborators with single molecule threat groups so this kind of dovetails quite nicely with those approaches. We've had a lot of contact with Anna who's been able to, to really help with our planning for the acquisition. The whole process has been really smooth and, and, and has been really helpful so it's been great.